No, no, we always do our normal intro. Yeah, exactly. Like a we'll, fun we'll intro. Just, yeah. Well, we're just having a normal conversation, Joe. Now, just butt in. <laughs> he didn't like where the conversation was going. Oh, how did he did know? You? Huh? Did you? Well, I could change yeah, it. Yeah, no, that's right. Exactly <laughs> right. That's why I pulled you Hey, new layout tonight. Dan, Jules. Jules, Dan. Huh? Musical chairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, well, can't wait in, I can't wait till I'm in this seat next week. I'm, yeah. hey, I'm moving, Jules. That's not happening. <laughs> well, the reason we changed up is because when Dan sat there, because he's, he's bigger than both of us, he looked like Gigantor. And when Jules sat here, he looked like a gnome. So <laughs> it was time to change it up. You feel all right in that seat? Yeah, it's got, I've just got to get used to the, the Jules Cassano dilemma. Swing. You're right the there? Swing. You're right there. You're I'm, better. I'm happy. You don't have to move. I'm happier. Now I can just, you know, look at using the eyes. I don't have to move. The less Jules has to do, the better. Yeah, maybe you can concentrate on his wording. <laughs> Hey, to be honest with you, the last few weeks, I reckon I've been pretty good, boy. Yeah, yeah, you've been all right. You've, had, you've been, actually, um, both of you have been struggling. We've, um, you've actually had in that food. regard. You know, yeah, that's true. Last week we did. Bumble. Last week, last few, we weeks, few, few weeks. We had a bumble last week. I think 2024 for me is going to be going well. It, it quit while it's quit while you're going in. very. <laughs> Do we want to get into that? <laughs> uh, it's good for Jules. It could get personal. Yeah, he's getting married in Spain in fucking September, but that's all right. <laughs> That's that's our moment. We finally, as a generation, we can hang our hat on a genuine moment. Honestly, we are a force because of the intensity that we play at is just next level. We want to be here. We want to impact finals. And it's one thing that's obviously saying it, but we just lived it. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone for... A, for I'm genuinely baffled. It's well, only been 120 eps, Joe. Welcome, everyone, to episode 120 of the Almost Blues Brothers podcast, part of the Blue Broad Media Network and proudly powered by... Go to Health and Performance. It's not. Image, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to plug Image Online. Did it last week, got another one. Jules did it last week. Go on. Who is it? Uh, Image Online. Yeah, what do they do? For all your jingles, uh, voice recordings. Um, podcasting, podcasting as well. Podcasting. Yeah, what yep. else? They have a studio. Yeah. That what they else? give that we yeah, use. Yeah. What else? Yeah. Um, live calling. Yeah. Live calling, answering. Yeah. They actually, like, obviously, try Divert to calls, don't they? PO to health and performance again on what. board. So that was a test again for you. If you want this seat, you've got to do a lot better than that. So, yeah, well, me, Joe, you got, you've up. got it in front of you. Sharpen up. Uh, if you're joining us, thanks for, oh, thanks for coming in live. It's, it's nice. Uh, a Monday night, not usually our, our preferred slot, but Easter Sunday, boys, we obviously all had plans very hard to get into the studio when you wogs catholic on a sunday easter sunday so good to be here go on hammer me no i'm not i'm saying I'll you know, tonight the way that this has started because mm. of the way that we were pre-show there's a lot of angst like i'm Do you feel really, it? i'm really tense what is it <laughs> and i wanted to baby? stop i wanted to stop the conversation that was happening pre-show a lot earlier than what it stopped <laughs> i am fucking tense that's you, all i'm gonna you say you have a bit of a run through in terms oh of actually what God. we're gonna discuss we've had none of that tonight the yeah. fact that joe before just in that little break goes <laughs> Are you two all right? Yeah. No, I had to because I'm rattled. He's I am in. genuinely listen, rattled. Listen, listen. The show is going to be fine. We support. Why are you laughing? Because we support a really, really, really good football team. It would do. Uh, before we get there, Jules. No, don't how bypass is it. How is it? We're going to get there. How was your Easter, Jules? Pretty, pretty good, boys. Um. I don't know. Good Friday pre-game. Just had everyone over my house. Uh, cooked a fair. I actually cooked it, and apparently it was the best one yet. So um, you cooked it. Move, move it. over Berlin. No, nah, she'll probably believe listen to this it part when of I the, see it. She'll probably be listening to this part of the show as well. Now, nah, Victor, I reckon Victor's in the chat. He'll be able to uh, approve it. Victor, if you're there, um, just let us know. But I don't. there was a few people on the actual day that said it. Um, yeah, had a few Negronis, beers, free game. So by the time we actually got to the game, a few of us were a bit. Um, you were. Yeah. By the time you left, you were fucking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were well, not. It was easy viewing, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. Uh, you got some uh, some comments here from Davey on your German kit tonight. Jules. You rate it. Rates it highly. Yeah. Yeah. I got a few Vintage. in the wardrobe. Vintage. Uh, Jules, can I ask you something? Davey also Tell asked, me. why isn't Dan hosting tonight? And if you had have heard, you had have heard the intro around how he tried to talk about our, our sponsor here. And Can I? Who's, who's, who, who are we powered by? That's why he's not. Hosting. Once again, Davey Joe's just trying to dominate. No, my life. I don't. Ha- I don't actually have to do much. Angel, <laughs> I don't have to do much to hold this seat at this point. 
guys, guys listening, if you want to see me next week, I want to see yeses just consistently. It's not can we do a vote? Can the we do a voting system? I couldn't care less. It's not happening. Do a vote. Dan, how was, uh, how was your Easter? You really, think? really good. Yeah, good? Yeah, yeah really good. good. That's nice. That's nice. Yep. What would you do? Um, <laughs> I watched the best football team in the country play on Friday. <laughs> And I was really content. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then ate a lot. Yeah, like a lot. And drank to the a point lot. where probably sick of it. And drank a lot. You yeah. do get sick of it, eh? By the end, you do. Like, this is just ridiculous. Last night I couldn't even speak to to my wife. No, nah, you feel you just feel like shit. Yeah. yeah, And then you wake up like heavy. Is that the the right way to describe it? Heavy. Yeah, and like very lethargic. I felt today. I had a big dinner last night, and I was like just on the couch all day. Mm. And it's not even the chocolates. Mm. It's the... We didn't even have chocolate this year. How's that? No, but Mm. it's It's food. So, like, we go to, like, my side and obviously then Lauren's side. And it's the fact that both families cook the same thing. Yeah. So, you're eating the same thing twice. You can can reel off exactly the same thing Mm. for both people. So... Yeah, that's the. But before we go into Joe, because we, we know that we we ask him every single week how his weekend was. Oh, yeah, dear. um, it was Belen's birthday on Saturday, so happy birthday again for Belen. Um, yeah. she um had a great day and night. Happy birthday! Yeah. Happy Jules birthday, birthday. Jules is Belen. Partner, just tilt your mic down a bit, Jules. And um, tilt yeah, Joe, how was your weekend? Oh, it was good. That's the first week you've asked out of 120. So thank you. Without being prompted, it's good. Jules is actually in the box seat to replace me next week if we're going to have a different host. So I don't, I don't care good. enough. No, that's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> you don't care enough. <laughs> no, it was good. I actually didn't have a massive Easter Sunday. I had a dinner just with my nonna this year and um, and a, a small group of us. So uh, still a lot of food by the end of the night. But yeah, no Easter lunch. My um, just, just a dinner last night. So I definitely felt nice. quite tired this morning. But I got up. At two thirty, didn't you play a fair bit of golf? I did play a lot of golf, actually. Played uh, played Ivanhoe Friday morning before the game. Shit course, but you got to get out. Uh, and I played at. Uh, I went out to Lilydale Easter Sunday morning. Played Gardener's Run, which is a fantastic course, like really, really, really good. And played well, so I was happy. But got up at two thirty this morning. Been up since uh, since about six after that. Had a little nap. Didn't take the chocolates, but nil nil. At the Etihad, you take yeah. that. You know, that's like their first goalless game at the Etihad in quite a while. Yeah, no, it's been, yeah, it's yeah. been like, I'm like talking years. like Ages. a few years. Yeah, yeah. years, yeah. So you take that. That's, that That needed to be the worst case scenario for Arsenal. So we just couldn't have lost. Took took a point. No, nah. Liverpool, getting, Liverpool getting the win. Yeah, but that's all right. We've, 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 got, to play, the, we've like, got to play Brighton as well. We've got yeah, to play Brighton as well. Yeah. Like, it's it's going to happen. And I'll be right, Can we talk about Carlton? I know. It's all about Joe, isn't it? It's not about Joe. It was actually more about you two. No, I, I, I feel like, like, I feel like food. If, yeah. I feel like if you spoke about Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, What's where we just touched that base on like one day. Go for it. it no, I don't want to talk about I it. Host, I host the show, but you can talk about whatever you want for as long as you want. Yeah. I want to talk about Calm. I reckon this, I reckon we're getting very close to the end of this podcast with the way that <laughs> it could be covered too. Oh yeah. Good luck. You don't even know how to work a fucking camera, let alone the microphone. Boys. Without any further ado, how's this? Yeah, let's get into it. Uh, yeah, all right. Let's go with some blues news then before we go in. While she, uh, it was reported today by Chloe Williams. Mm-hmm. He was mm-hmm. on the track. At Icon Park, apparently, while she is in full training, no limitations. Very positive. He, uh, I doubt he'll be selected for gather round, but it wouldn't surprise me if you see him in a couple of weeks. Boys, well, we're not like you won't rush him back. Yeah, I'm. Apparently, it wasn't contact training. Apparently, it was just more um, like kicking and handball drills and the like, and a few run throughs. Um, but obviously, it's positive news. Obviously, being back on the track with the group as well. Um, and I think in the next two, three weeks, I think our run sort of starts getting a bit more challenging. So is, I think hmm. he comes in at relative at a relative good time, doesn't he? How do you boys bring, given his injury and his history, how do you boys bring him in? How do you bring in a Sam Walsh, given the way we're playing at the moment? Um, and, and how do you sort of blood him back in? Do you want my honest opinion? Honest. Given the injury and given I everything. I, I personally believe we don't need to play Sam Walsh on ball. Yep, and given his back injury, I don't see why why risking him in and under with that sort of a load for the rest of the season is required. 
with the midfield that we've got. I spoke about Ollie Hollands last week. All right, he had, a, he had a half decent game against North. But if you're looking at players that need to come out of this side, I look at that wing spot. I know I know Walsh can run all day. And if you're talking about not risking his back injury any further, would you rather him not get? Would you rather him get more uncontested ball than contested? Well, because this season, because I see in Sam Walsh, I see a, a potential winger that can run 15k a day like Ollie Hollands does, back and forth two way, and can hit up targets inside 50. We know his ball uses. It does make fantastic. sense given the fact that the reports were that he was struggling to bend mm-hmm. down at one stage. Like that's serious. So why, this is what I'm saying. When you've got Cripper, Jera, yeah. Kennedy, Hewitt already that you can put on ball. And then you've got the likes of a Fogarty. Obviously, you can run Walsh through there if you need to, but a Fogarty that can go to a centre bounce as well or a Cunningham if he plays. What's the point? What's the need? He'll still find he's going footy out on a wing. I can promise you. Yeah, I think I think you still get the best of him on ball. Of course. Yeah. But you still get... For me, I, I think he, we can ease him into it in terms of... By doing I, what Joe I, says. I don't think it's a wing. I think it's wing. more of a half forward rolling right. up as a... You know, a fifth midfielder. That's what I want see. To, do you want to mess with with that half forward mix at the moment because it's working? Not with the pressure that we're applying because um, he's got he's got to apply the pressure, right? Correct. So he's got to I lay still, eight tackles a game like what doing. I still think, I still think our half forward line is still questionable. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Not because of defensive pressure, but because of our actual hitting up targets inside forward fifty. I think I still think we need it. That's an area. But would you sacrifice? Would you sacrifice then the pressure to bring in? What I'm not. A, a I'm not. Team? I'm not saying take out a Lockie Fogarty. No. So who? So who taking? Because Elijah Hollands is going to keep his spot after this week. Yeah. Fogarty's going to keep his spot. Mm-hmm. Mark, Jack Martin's got to come in. That's yep. three. You got Jesse Motlop to come in. Yeah. So who else is coming in? What, 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 how are you going to fit Walsh on a half forward line? I think we know the name. Don't we? Who? A Carroll. Yeah, but hold on. That's that's not. He's he's a midfielder. He's playing out of a centre bounce at the moment. Talking <laughs> not, about the half not predominantly. Time. Predominantly, it's Stewart, Chera, and Cripps. What game have I been watching? Has Carroll not, not been playing out of the midfield? Predominantly. He's been, he's, well, not, predominantly. Not, yeah. Who's predominantly? Uh, uh, yeah. No, majority not, of the time, it's Hewitt, Chera, Cripps. I don't know what game I've been watching this year. Then <laughs> uh, Carroll's been playing out of the midfield, bloke. How many? Uh, how many centre bounces do you tend to? Have a look. Go look. Go yeah, look. Go look. That's how Go you look. know. But it's not that's just how you know. It's, that's it's, how you know. It's Go. not just centre bounce. It's also stoppages around the ground. Yeah. Okay. All right. But for me, if anyone's going to come out for a Walsh, it's it's Carol. I don't even know where I can find centre bounce attendances. Anyway, Dan, what, what are your what are your thoughts on it? While I try and find this. No, I half. I, I'll be honest. I half agree with you. Um, to get him out. I just don't. Win. I just don't see him. I just don't see him going straight in the guts. Not with an injury like that. Not from what we've heard. We actually don't even know how severe it was or is. I mean, he's come back from the same injury. I know, but it's a load thing, Jules. That's a lot of load. It takes out of your, you know what I mean? Yeah, correct. But the, you know. Like from a running capacity. Jack Carroll Jack Carroll has attended in 2024, if this is center bounces, which is, yeah, 2024 center bounces. Yeah, there would have been. 42, 42 center bounces. And he's. Yeah, but there would have been. He's fourth on the list for Carlton. Exactly. He's a midfielder. Yeah, but. He's not a half forward. Right, so it's not if we're talking about taking Jack Carroll out, then you're saying, then yeah, you're but saying what's what? his split compared to Cripps, Chera, and Hewitt? Yeah, of course, I understand. So that. that's but what I'm even saying. Even Kennedy would be similar. You, Carroll, usually, Kennedy. Hewitt would be sorry. Usually, Walsh would have been one of those three. He had 17 he, he, against he, he, North alone. 17 centre bounces against North alone. Correct, but right. there, there would have been. So you're, there would you're been saying four, you'd be been like 45 oh, no, centre bounces. You're, you're saying you'd be comfortable bringing Walsh straight in and attending 17 centre bounces in his first game? Yes, because I reckon that's below average. Seventeen. Compare how many how many centre bounces? Doesn't matter. Uh, how many centre bounces would he be? How many no, centre bounces? How many centre bounces would Walsh have particip- participated in if he was playing? I don't. I don't know. But at the end of the day, probably all of them. All yeah, we need to do is look at this. Fit, but he's not fit, Jules. Listen, I'll, what we're Jules about. I'll give you some. We're talking about blooding him coming off the back. Cripps has twenty six. If, if, Cripps had twenty six. Cripps had twenty. Only nine more. Correct. That's it. So, yeah. like Walsh is going to. You're saying you want Walsh to bear the majority of the load at a centre bounce. He can go in 15, 16 times. I think that's too now, much. I, I the, now, that's listen, too much. It, the North Melbourne game, the only reason why there was that many centre bounces is because we kicked 21 goals. Of course. But How it, about the other games against Brisbane? I Brisbane? understand, but they, we're, we're also only just talking about centre bounces. There's stoppages around the ground. So if he's playing that role, he's got to attend the same amount of stoppages percentage-wise that Jack Carroll is, is attending. For me, personally... Which is and I'm saying keep him out is, of the contest. I'm saying keep him well away from it. Not yeah. 17 times in a, in a game at centre bounce. No way. I think 17... Times is, you know, look. I I think personally, I don't see Walsh playing anywhere else predominantly once he is fully fit. 
then other than the so guts. So would you rather just keep? All. Would you rather just keep him out longer? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Because no. no, but this is what I was going to say. I rather Jules. nurse him in, play the fifteen. Or so in terms of his split as Carroll, because compared to Walsh, Carroll does less in terms of time on ball than what a Walsh would do normally of compared course. to last of year. Of course, normally. So he would be down. Percentage yeah, wise, yeah, he yeah. would be down. So nurse him back into it until he's obviously at the fitness level and the confidence within his back. I think we're actually saying. I think we're actually saying the same thing, but. I, I think the difference is no. Then you're you know, you want to no, but you want to play him on the wing. Jules yeah. the same. I don't want to play him on the wing. Yeah, I think that's I, different. I think I'll, I would eventually like to see him go back in and under, which is what we're both saying. But whether that's this season at all is what I'm. No, the about. argument isn't that. The argument that's you're both blooding him in the same way. You're not having him straight in the guts. You're having him up half forward. Correct. Joe's having him up on the wing. Correct. What the issue is is that we went at fifty four percent going inside fifty. Which is, pretty is that an issue? That's very well. Good. That's not an issue in my mind. He's amazing. I, I understand. I think, like I, the think, thing is, I think everyone's going to say it's north. I think the fifty-four percent looks good because it is north, and a couple of the positions that they do have a bit of a flaw in their game is it's their key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think the actual fifty-four percent is sort of flattering in a way because of that, and a lot of the goals that go they did kick. Higher. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying that you know it is because of that. I think North Melbourne defenders were under pressure, so the free kicks were free kicks. I think they were legitimate, no, but, all but correct. But there were nine goals from free kicks. Imagine if we played another team. I don't think there would have been nine free kicks from scores. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, we went of so, forty and forty-six percent against Brisbane and Richmond, respectively. But yeah. forty-six is still the average. So we've had either average or above average games. Yeah, so I, I, I just think in terms of the amount of times we do go in for side forward 50 where it should be a hit up mark and it's not taken or it's not um, hit up. I think that's an area of improvement. I think a Walsh um, and if we can get the ball into the likes, I know it's sort of off, off conversation in terms of, you know, Martin coming back in Elijah um, sort of gets builds on his confidence and he had another terrific game. I think that's going to be an, another added layer in terms of our scores. That's all I'm trying to say. And I think Walsh will be able to help, help that into the, in the short, medium term. Fair enough. Fair enough. Mm. <clears throat> you? I, I want to hear what you two thought, but I'd probably be more inclined to go with you. On the outside? Yeah. Complete outside? Yeah. Uncontested? Yeah. 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 Uh, anyway, they're, they're, they're opinions and it's fine. Purely we're, because we're, of the, the, the pressure, you... purely because of the forward pressure taking out the likes that's of, what, that's of what Fog, what you taking mean? out the which Fog, all right, you're saying not Fog, but taking out, because even Voss said in his presser, he was more impressed about the forward pressure of our smalls and what they were doing. And I know, I know. Do you, you honestly, did, he, I know, he did say that. I know, do you, do you, do you think them? Walsh, sorry. Do you think Walsh will play on a wing? Do you think he can utilize? Do you him? think Walsh will play on a wing? I think he can. He can. No, do you think Voss and the coaching staff will put him on a wing? But why 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 couldn't they do I'm saying that I'm asking you the question. But I'm, I'm saying asking, I'm asking, that his I'm body asking why why couldn't they do that? Considering what we've listed, he's got running capacity. He can go both ways. He's kicking inside fifty. He's kicking inside. Because I think I think he's a reigning Gary Ayres medalist. Okay. No, dude, but of, we know that he's going to play on but ball he, eventually. On. He was a reigning Gary Ayres medalist without the back issue rules. He did have a back issue. No, but it didn't. Fl it hadn't flared up, bloke, for the whole for, for the year. He recovered from a back issue and then Jules, had a season the Jules, way he did. Jules. Nah, I'm just saying, Jules. Eventually, he's going to play on ball, for, like predominantly, <clears throat> like. I'm just saying that do you stick him right in there straight away or do you nurse him in, a, in another way? You're saying off half forward, you're saying off half I just can't see how you, you how you bring him in. On There's no way forward. you bring him in the guts instantly. No, I think we all agree on that. That's what we agree on. I just can't see how he fits on the half forward line when you've got always that just kick three, Durden kick two, Mots is still going to come in, Martin's got to come in, you've got Fogarty in good form and you've got Elijah in good nick. That's six players that, are, that for me are ahead of Walsh on a half forward line when sure. it comes yes, when They're it comes ahead. yes, when it comes to pressure and when it comes to effectiveness of what we've seen already this season. Voss said it himself. Our game is built off turnover. And that turnover game is built off the, the, the half forwards pressing higher up the ground. We know that. We well, know do that. you keep him out longer? Do you keep him out longer until he's ready? But no, I, because I, he's I, more valuable to I, play in I another round. I don't role. think they would play him if he wasn't ready. Cotters is the other one. Cotters, you got set, yeah, I just named, ball game. I'm just named seven. Different would, ball game in an underball. I've just named seven players. No, I don't think, if you can't bend over to pick up the footy, you shouldn't be playing footy. Of course, but when it's repeated, 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 it takes its toll as of well. Of course. That's, anyway, so then he we could bang on, we've banged on about It's not like you can have him in, you're not going to play him in BFL, are you? Yeah. Then he doesn't play. We've banged That's on what I'm saying. So would you rather that? Would you rather right, not enough. play then? Enough, he enough, enough. Play. If you can't enough. do it, he doesn't I'm play. calling it. No, I'm calling it. We have banged on about this now for like 15 minutes. That's enough. Well, they like we've it. Obviously got, we've, obviously got, <laughs> we've obviously got different opinions on it. I think we all agree that you can't just put him straight in the guts. It's not going to happen. 
How that happens, I'm not sure. I'd just be wrapped to see him back at the end of the day, to be honest. I think he makes us a better right. side regardless of what The way I see it, watch him come back and have 25, 30 touches. Yeah, exactly. He will. Yeah. He just knows how to He's proven it. It's just you don't want him out in another eight weeks. That's, yeah, correct. You, want, you? you want to make sure you touch you, want, you have 25 touches well, in game one, but major, then you're out major, eight weeks major, later. Majority of the time, when does he do, do these injuries? Well, later in the year. Well, the only one was the back injury that was later the in the year, two years whatever, ago. Was, but then in terms of the actual ankle energy, the syndesmosis yes, was pre I'm, I'm not worried. And then about, I'm not worried back about, injury again. It was I'm not worried about the ankle. So, the back flared up late in the season 2022 when he was in and under for the majority of that That's because we had no one. Yeah. We are running low. Anyway, like I said, we've got a, an actual game to talk about, which I haven't spoken <laughs> just yet. We spoke about it briefly in all that. But Good Friday. It was a fucking... Great Friday is what it was, boys. Great it was. Friday. Um, yeah. It was got, packed as well. Yeah, and I've got some footage from um, from the game of how how easily we did, how much we beat him up. But all is not as it seems. The big buck actually has hold of the dog, not the other way around. As Greg runs in, we realise this could get dangerous. <laughs> Let it go, dogs. Let's go. Down the- I was like, there Yep. We're, we're still stuck on the other argument. I know. We're, we're, that was going, we're still we're going. We're too stubborn. We can't do that. Know, it's ridiculous. That's why I said let's move on. But we did genuinely beat up on a North Melbourne side that has shown a bit of spark this year at times. But we just kept them at arm's length all day, boys. And we honestly, I thought we didn't even get out of first gear. Yeah. For me, that's the most impressive part. The fact that we actually didn't get out of second gear and we still bet them by 56 points. Um, kind of ridiculous in a way, I think. Well, the final scores were North Melbourne twelve nine eighty one, which I want to talk about as well. Remind me, uh, Carlton twenty one eleven one hundred thirty seven. I, I struggle to remember how we put twenty one goals on the board. I really do. Goal kickers: Fantasia, Elijah, Cripps, Acres, Carroll, Chera, Hewitt, one each. Durden with two, Owies with three, Kerno with four. Mackay five. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven goal kickers on the day. Uh, the injuries out of the game. Marchbank with that head knock, unfortunately. Um, and Don't Charlie, Charlie didn't ankle no late, issue. but he was fine. He's fine. Yeah, Ross said no points. issue with Charlie. Um, I, I don't know. I'll start. Uh, how, how how did we get to one hundred thirty seven? Well, listen. Do you guys see? Do you guys see North Melbourne? From what you'd seen, do you rate them? Better than what they were last year. Do you? I think they're better. Do you rate them better? They are better. Jules? They, I've watched all three um, of their games and they're playing a lot better. I think they're, they're not worse. I think, I, I, no, I don't think they're worse. I just think they're, I wouldn't say their ball movement's better. I just think they're more um, willing to take the game on. Right. Yeah, that's, that's, what I, that's what I think. Correct. Yeah. I'll yeah. tell you something. Yeah. So this time last year, we, they were in it. They were. They were in it. Uh, at half time, yeah. They were. So they I were looked at front. growth. They, they might have been in front when they, they came were out. In, at three quarter time. No, no. Was it? No, half time. Half-time. I think half time. Sorry. They were either in front or they got in front quickly after. Yeah, correct. Time. Yeah. So I look at growth of, of a year now. And apart from the first five minutes or whatever it was, that was youthful exuberance, as I was calling it, <laughs> and a bit of help from the umpires. Honestly, boys, that from what Voss has said about consistency, from what Voss has said about adding a layer with our ball movement, like it's just growth. Yeah. And you look at what we did, like we put them away. Yeah. And convincing yeah. to the point where we didn't even know where all those goals were being kicked from. Yeah. I mean, I think it sort of starts from pressure. All right. That's the, um, you did that on purpose. Yeah. That's the, what's it called? That's the, um, the signal. Link. That's the signal. signal. Um, so, boys, yeah, like I said, I think it all starts from pressure. And, um, I mean, I think the North Melbourne did kick a few early. I think they kicked, what, three goals to our one. Um, and I think they're up by a couple of goals. But um, I think from, you know, 10 minutes or so inside the first quarter, I think we really got our pressure game going. Um, I think we actually got 26 tackles in the, inside that first quarter. Inside that first quarter. And I think we had um, 76, I think. 
For the game, yeah. For the game? We did. Is it correct? Yep. Yeah. So um, that quarter, we actually brought it, and I think we brought it in, you know, that 20 minutes um, post the 10-minute mark. And for me, boys, the pressure rating is – the average is um, 180 across the AFL. There's only one quarter where we failed – to be to meet it or go higher, huge, and that's the first quarter yeah. against Brisbane. Yeah, so we actually um, just had a slow start to the season. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, so for me, boys, I know we spoke about the tournament. I've spoken about the turnover game last couple of weeks, and that was still up in a big way. Um, but for me, it's the pressure game that's still ticking along nicely, and we've gone on another, another level since the 2023 season, massively. And that's what I said before. But boys, also our stoppage work was unreal. It was better. Our centre yeah. back. It was. It, it was well, better. we it was we better. clearly identified for them that that was probably their their one wood in a way. Yeah, their 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 center clearance work. Yep. Um, and we our, our burst out of stoppage and and those chains to get the ball inside fifty were unbelievable. Yeah, it was yeah, a lot better on on Friday night. It really was. It was a lot better. Yeah, it still wasn't our. It still wasn't our uh, most powerful. It wasn't our most powerful source of scoring though. No, still, we kicked seventy six points. Of turnover and 55 from That's what I'm saying. With that dynamic ball movement now <clears throat> and the way in which we are scoring off turnover, there's another layer. Well, we that look layer, another layer. Is, what that, that, plan, is that your plan B? What that, that layer, what that layer has added is an extra two goals overall. In, yeah, correct. In terms yeah. of per, per game average. And an unpredictability. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, and unpredictability. And it is a more sustainable brand. We know that. We've been waiting for this to come along. But the turnover game and, and transition is just, it's unbelievable to watch. Yeah, yeah, at the moment. Just, just, just to put it into comparison, though, I've got some numbers here. Um, so our average um, at the moment is 66 points from turnover over the course of the last three games. Last year, it was 42.9. There you go. Yeah. It's an extra um, three and goals. The, sto- the stoppage um, last year was 36.9. That's an extra. Hold on. Did you say 42 versus 66? Yeah, that's, that's from an extra turnover. Four goals. But that's, four goals. No, but that's from turnover. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. An extra yeah, four goals from, from turnover. from stoppage, it's the opposite. It's one goal less. Correct. So we're, yeah. we're actually a three goal three better, goal side, better side. by adding yeah. that layer Correct. in the transition. I'm sorry. We're going to win the flag. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. No, said to you, the more, I, the more I talk about this and the more that I see what's unfolding, yeah. the, the more I think that we're, we're at least going to be there on the last day. It's, obvi- it's obviously a very small sample size um, being three yeah, games. Three and games. We didn't see it obviously in preseason and nor did I. Well, I mean, we, yeah, wanted, we wanted to see it, but... We've seen it in we've three competitive against, games. Yeah, that's right. Correct. And we've done it against Brisbane. Up done in Brisbane. Against, up in Brisbane. Richmond. Okay. And obviously, we saw what they did um, so Sydney, yesterday against Sydney. And Sydney, for me, were the benchmark um, until yesterday. And, said correct. That. And obviously, North Melbourne. Um, but we've done it against the you know a Richmond side who beat Sydney. And then, obviously, against Brisbane, up in Brisbane as well. So, um, you it know. It doesn't matter who you play. You've still got to bring it. Yeah, Correct. Correct. That's right. Yeah, Everyone's saying, oh, it's North Melbourne, but at the end of the day, you've got to get the job done. Hey, I, because in the past, we were winning by 56 points, boys. As a Carlton supporter, Honestly. as a Carlton supporter, I, and we can all say this, we have watched premiership teams and dynasty teams across the years, and we've had to watch them, right? Because And they, they beat up on us for however many years. And they went on and won flags, like a Richmond, like a Hawthorne. And I remember watching when we played against those sides, going, they're not even trying. Mm. And they're doing it easy. Effortless. Yeah. How, like, we can't even get close. I saw that. In, I've got goosebumps saying this. I saw that in us against North Melbourne. For the, I think for the first time with this group, yeah. I went, we didn't get out of first gear. I think in terms of the pressure as well, I think you – we sort of announced our songs. I mean, I've been asking you for it. When are we just going to go, you know what? No, we're going to push you over. We're going to be the boss today. Yeah. Whatever we say goes. And on Friday, that's exactly what it did. But we did it with ease. It wasn't even like a – it wasn't a, a struggle. It wasn't a struggle no, no. at all. There was no struggle in the game other than those first five, ten, ten minutes, but it wasn't a struggle. So that leads me on to this because Jacob Weering coming back mm-hmm. and March Bank coming back are a big reason as to why that happened as well because we we're more short down back. Oh, yeah. We looked a lot more a lot more structured. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. with waiters. Well, for sure. Mm-hmm. So my question is, is from waiters coming in, uh, do do you think he was at his best? No, nah, nowhere near it. No, nah, he's still got to ease into it. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So think about the potential of what oh, we can yeah, do. Yeah, it's crazy. That's right. Do you understand what that's I'm trying insane. to say with this? Yeah. Like, so Jacob Wiedering that's come back in, and he's still not playing at his best. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not even that. Like, you still got Zach Williams. He's only three games in. Yeah. Um. He, obviously, there's still a bit of an evolution there in terms of the ball movement. You know, action that extra, adding that extra layer. Um. You know, we sort of had you know Lewis Young. And a Kemp in first couple of games. Now they're out. Marchbank in for his first game. So even in terms of continuity, in terms of the back six, back seven, um, 
it's still got to get there. Like we had, yeah. you know, the last eight, nine, ten games into the run into finals. Yeah, I've really been looking year. at things I've been focusing on at the moment is ball movement and the way we're moving the ball, and we're looking for that kick quick in the corridor. Yep. And even if it doesn't work out, Jules, we said we go, we still like it because the intent's there. And you know that if it comes off, we're away. And the way we go at speed hurts teams. It really does. It hurts teams. It does. So, um, boys, I, yeah, I don't want to talk too early, but I'm fucking excited. I'm happy to talk How now. can you not? No, I'm happy to talk now because I've seen it. Yeah. I've seen it. I've seen the profile. The profile's there. We're scoring. Now, this is the only thing that I haven't seen just yet, which I'm – when you when you kick 137 points in a game, you're going to win more more games often than not. But the one concern that I've had is we haven't conceded less than 80 this season. Yeah, but so we haven't. But that's what I'm trying to say to you about with Weeders coming. I know, I know. In. And the back and the that's, back that's six, what the back about. six, yeah. that, that cohesion that'll that'll let that brew, happen a little bit. Of because course, everyone's talking about that with the 80 points. But if it doesn't, if it doesn't start to come to fruition now with the run of games that we've got against the opposition that we've got coming up, we could, we could, we could get punished is all I'm saying. Mm, yeah. Like you got Frio. Not when you got, not when you got Harry kicking five and Charlie kicking I think, four. I think our next six is something like Frio. I had a look at it today. Frio, Adelaide, here, GWS, St. Kilda, Melbourne, Collingwood, something like that. I think is the next six. Mm. There's some good, good football teams in there. And we've like when we get to the Melbourne Collingwood games in particular, even St Kilda with the way that they're transitioning ball off halfback this year, if we haven't tightened that up a lot, and I, I firmly believe that we're going to con- we're just naturally going to concede more because we're playing a transition game. Yeah, it's it's going to open up the game a little bit more. But to concede eighty against North for me, that's that's where I would have thought we could probably keep them to sixty. Because if we're not keeping them to sixty, we're going to struggle to keep Melbourne to 60 or a Collingwood to 60 or a St. Kilda to 60. That's all. Yeah. I I'm mean, not overly I, concerned. I, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not overly concerned just because I'm just trying to think about what the coaching staff sort of have asked of them in terms of ball movement. Um, obviously, it's affected our scoring capacity. And I just think it, the shift has changed, obviously. But you're committing in terms more of, as yeah, well. so you're committing more I, all I'm trying to say is obviously forward. last yeah. year, the, the real emphasis, even we had, when we went through that six, seven game patch, was the defense. Mm. Like not defense, back six, back seven, but our whole team, team defense. Yeah, team our defense. team defense. Yeah. Okay. Um, obviously, it's shifted a little bit to allow us to score more. Um, obviously, there's just going to be a little bit of an adjustment period. Mm. I think we're just seeing that in real time. And I think we'll see it over the next four or five weeks where we will have an adjustment where we probably won't be as free-flowing going forward and we'll have a bit of an adjustment and look back the other way as well. Yeah, I, I yeah. Could, You'll see it. Listen, I just don't want to keep comparing to last year, but last year we won the first what? Four, four three, games. Three games and a three draw. Three games and a draw. Yeah. All right? But we weren't happy. No. No, we're happy We now. weren't. But this year we're happy. Yeah. Like I you think everyone is. You can't not be. Um, so we've got. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm happy with the Brisbane performance after quarter time. The North Melbourne game, I'm reasonably happy, happy. with. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. The Richmond game, not so much in terms of performance, but I think we don't know how Richmond are. Well, after what I saw yesterday, they, they, can, they against, can bring it. Yeah, that's Correct. right. They and that's the thing. It. Yeah, no Lynch for them though. Now, I that's Lynch, massive. Lynch and Bolt. And Bolt. I know. <laughs> so they could hit it. <laughs> Let's hope so. Which we don't mind. Uh, we've got a couple in the chat. Reese Miller, uh, <laughs> who is going to be Jules' uh, future brother-in-law, no doubt. Uh, he says, how much to, how much to alter a flight itinerary in September? <laughs> <laughs> you got it wrong, mate. He's uh, he's coming back as the grand final is going to be played, I think, from your wedding. He's yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah, he'll be, he'll I'll be, be going and contacting <laughs> he'll, he'll, the, he'll be the, back the agent right. now. Yeah. If, you're, if your sister Steph's listening, Steph, Reese is coming back a lot earlier than that, I can tell you. Uh, and Gabrielle, Brini. Oh, hello. Hey, Gab. She says hello from your only London fan. You know what, Gab? We are global, so you're probably not our only <laughs> London fan. <All> right? <laughs> uh, now, uh, just to break this up a bit, if you are watching, uh, we've got a few watching, only 18 likes. If you haven't liked yet, like a video, subscribe to Blue Broad. And if you're listening on Spotify, give us five stars, hit that follow, uh, or on Apple Podcasts as well, leave us a review. Um, Let's break this up a bit. So we had this doppelganger thing the other week that we did. 
we've had a, we've had one more that got sent through this week by my cousin Corey, who I've spoken about a lot on this podcast. I, I do want to get Corey on one day. He's got no idea about football, but he'll be good value. Yeah, he comes know? every so often. <laughs> <laughs> he comes to a game. He's a real supporter. Nah, nah, he's a Carlton supporter. He's been a Carlton supporter for life. But he sent this one through. He was watching Ray, the Italian mm, Fox Asian. Channel. Yeah, with his nonni, and uh, he was watching some game show, and this bloke popped up, and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's bang on. To be fair, is it not? Yeah, you did yeah. participate in um, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, didn't you? Did you not? I did <laughs> a long time have ago. Have you stopped doing the mo now because of that? No, I've still got because I've just got a little bit of extra beard. This oh, week. you can, it's like barely. No, no, yeah. this this just needs a trim. I just haven't trimmed. The so you're still sticking with the mo? Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's your identity. Well, my normal had a mo. Yeah, it just it fits. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it is my identity, is it not? Well, yeah. How long have I had a mo for now? It's I know since you were like ten. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. <laughs> one one thing I was very impressed with um, that we didn't see during the game, but it was footage that came out once I watched the replay and it was floating around on socials. Fourth quarter, we're up by 40, and this is Vossi. They got the wins, but they weren't really the top playing their game. best footy. Yeah. No, without, without a doubt. Almost disappointed. Standards. In what he was saying. Standards. That is... A very, very, very good sign of a yeah. club with a good culture. It's standards. Yeah. Boys. Yeah. For me, it's standards. Um, and obviously he just wants to partake that onto, you know, onto the actual players that are actually on the field in that in that on in that given moment. Um and I think if that's the person that's leading our football club, um, and he's doing that, I'm I'm very happy, boys. It shows you that a win yeah, against North I'm Melbourne isn't the end game. Yeah. 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 Plain and simple. Yeah. It's yeah. about it's about putting in that four There's quarters. a bigger picture. There's yeah. a bigger picture in the home and away season, and there's a bigger picture in what they want to do. And he's yeah. broken that. He's actually broken the season up like that. Yeah. You know? He goes, we yeah. want to be the most consistent home and away team first, and then we'll, yeah. and then well, finals will talk about I that. I mean, they, they broke up the first couple of games and then wait, waiting to get into the bye and so on. So obviously, that's been a, looking at it a message. Yeah, Correct. that's yeah. been a message, obviously, the whole way through. But another thing that I'm sort of um, interested in, in terms of culture, because you mentioned it, Joe, um, is it um, Coleman Jones? Oh, yeah. That's okay. yeah, really good point. Yep. Um, now, obviously, I'm pretty sure he ruptured his Achilles. Yep. Yep. Um, oh, yes. This is good. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. He ruptured his Achilles. Now, oh. I don't want to have a dig. What I don't know. What I don't identify. You know what? I don't, you know what? That's very good from you. Yeah. He's had some sleep. That's I'd, why he's better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go. No, I, I like where you're going to go with this. I don't want to have a dig at North Melbourne, but for me, it's not a, a good look when none of your players actually go past him and just give him a, you know, we saw it a, I wish, yeah. you know, a bit of, um, you know, just a bit of respect and common courtesy to say, you know, you'll be all right, you know, camaraderie. On, com- a bit of camaraderie on the way through. Um, but there were four or five Carlton boys yep. that actually went over and just gave him a bit of a tap. Um, for me, I felt I'm obviously in terms of the playing the performance, but I think off field in terms of what, the way we're actually running the club. And there's another thing as well. Who did we run past, Joe, after the game? Ah, Prez. Prez. Yeah. Now, I don't know, but... I don't think I would have seen too many presidents outside, not mingling, because he was, amongst, but, no, he, but he, he was in amongst it. Yeah, like, he was, like not affair. mingling, not no. mingling in terms of like a, I wasn't a social thing, no, no. but he was walking, I think he was going to a bar yep. or a restaurant post game, wherever, wherever he was going, but he was mingling, discussing things with um, fans, socializing, you know, but whatever he was, he was doing, he would, but he, he was, know, a, correct. If you didn't know he was a you president, know. you'd look at him as just another, you wouldn't know. Identify how important we are. You wouldn't yeah, know. Right. But do. it was like as if he was just a normal person. Yep. He just wanted to get to his good friends. All right. So, <laughs> I'm all, saying, all, all I'm saying is we are yeah, He had in, a lot of time for a lot of people. Yeah, we, are, good. we are in a very, very good place at the moment. We are. And yeah. it's because of everyone, but particularly, obviously, the Prez. Yep. Good, Jules. Don't mind that. Why clip that for Instagram this week? Star of the show. Are you clipping quite a few times this week, actually? Um, the last few weeks. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, it's all right. A, few, a couple of them have been because you've just been complete ass. <laughs> <laughs> Not because of your oh, opinions. I'm all, I'm all, I'm all ass. 
You know what, yeah, Jules, exactly. you know what it is, though? <laughs> Jules is utilizing the notepad. He is. Hey, and you can apologize to me as well. I, I bought these for you. You go, I'm never going to use it. You've used it every to, week. To be so honest, I've actually probably used it for school I, too. Do you know the thing is? Do you? I've got a notepad. Not for this. No, I, no, I, no. I've got a note, obviously a notepad yeah, for school. Yeah. But I actually don't utilize it. I write it down and then I just know. So you are utilizing it. Yeah, you yeah, but like, not at, on the actual show. Like doing an English text, no, like, at, at the show during the show. You're not like, looking at. I it. actually don't look at it unless there's a number. You, yeah, that. okay, yeah. So you're number. accessing your short-term memory by writing it down. Correct. Yeah. That's right. Correct. I'm not using any out listeners of, out there. Out of spite. Yep. I've actually sold. Out of spite. <laughs> Fuck off. He agreed. <laughs> yeah. You don't use it. I know. That's what I'm saying. I don't use it on purpose. <laughs> what is that? Uh, some Dan, Dan's probably the one person that would actually go buy another one and use that one. And yeah, use that would, one, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. <laughs> that's actually that's very true. Uh, some more footage next week. Some more footage from the game, which I didn't mind this from uh, from Raz. Yeah, you know yeah, and stick it up. We spoke about culture. Bit of arrogance goes a long way. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Well, it's I'm not sorry. arrogance. It's, no, no, no. It's it, giving it to him. Yeah, but so you know what? Give it back. You give it back. That's right. Because you know, you know where you're at as a football club. Well, how's this? Get some so, swagger back. It's good. Well, how's this? So I was walking to to my car after the game. North supporter comes up, goes, "Umpires gave you the game." Did they forget that they gave I go, the first three that, goals um, of the game? No, but then I go, does that – I go, yeah, I said that. I go, and then does that undo a 56-point margin? No. And she just stayed quiet. But also, <laughs> but also, go watch the game, unbiased, the free kicks are there. Yeah, in front of yeah correct. And it's because, and we say this all the time, you've got Charlie Curnow, two-time Colin medalist, and Harry McKay, who we're going to talk about in a minute, in the – Career best. I I honestly think Harry could be the best player in the comp right now in terms of his I was, effectiveness. For his output, I was, yeah. was going to discuss something. But you've got in those. Terms of, you've for got, his output. Hold on, hold on. Like, you've got those two there. Charlie against Toby Pink and Callum Dawson, who Correct. have barely played a game together. Of course, they're going to give away free yeah. kicks. They're panicking. Like, go watch the panic on these defenders' eyes as soon as the ball comes in and they're one out. Like their first. You, year you can't. You're not going to win the. They know they're not going to win the contest, so yeah. they're grabbing them. Of yeah. course, they're grabbing them. Mm. Whatever. They can suck all they want. They're just shit. I mean, my Plain prince, my um, points, man. <laughs> come on. My boss left halfway through the third quarter, and he had enough. Oh well, there you go. Go home. Didn't he didn't have a good Friday? How's this? We didn't go. We Less. never went early. Ah, uh, we did. Nah, nah. Last year we did. When the Brisbane game, we all left. When was that? Early on. Can't can't, if you can't remember, it didn't happen. I don't. I don't remember it either. I'm telling you, boys, <laughs> we left. That was all there. The one time we left. It's the only time we've we've left. The the whole all of us. All ten of us went. We're done. Really? Yeah, I don't remember. Early it. in the season, I raced that. I've erased a mind. lot of that the season from yeah. my memory. I remember that. Well, that part of the season. Anyway, leave early. So we go on individual players now. Well, I just want to talk about Harry, to be honest, because I think he's the only one that, to really speak about from that game as as an individual. Oh, we can talk oh, about Elijah as yeah, well. Yeah, but uh, Harry first. He is honestly, I. What can Jeremy Cameron do that Harry McKay is not doing at the moment? Because he's yeah. the benchmark for a key forward, right? In terms of the all-round game from op- from an opposition. Yeah, club. yeah. I don't know. If Jerry Jerry McCameron actually went into the ruck. Yeah, to be, no, to be honest, no, he's doing right. everything. Um, no. Yeah, for for me, I was on I was driving on the way here, and I'm thinking about obviously the game in, in terms of its entirety, but I'm also looking at and thinking about individual performances, um, not only against North but across the season, and I'm just thinking Harry Mackay. Surely, if you just took the three games, surely he's in Brownlow conversation. Yeah, you'd have yes to be getting votes. You have to be getting votes. You have to have eight votes. Because he's all over the ground. He, correct. Correct. Like, yeah. and, he, and he's probably averaging almost 20 touches and I kicking. I think it's like 16 disposals, 17 disposals. Yeah. yeah, and kicking, what, three, four goals a game. He'd be he's, kicked 11, he's kicked 11 goals, two. For the correct. Season. Plus the rest that he's doing. Yeah. But where, you know? like we said before, are you surprised? No. No. Not with the no. out. No, that's right. No. He's I'm just not... now confident. There's the confidence there. But he's, his set shot is now a joke. It's the most reliable set yeah, shot reliable. I've ever seen. His thing is as well. He's ridiculous. He missed one. He missed one early. Okay. But his reaction, again, after it, whatever. 
It was from it was a tight like angle. Arrogance. It was from a tight angle, though. Correct. Yeah. Correct. I know. I know. I remember. Yeah. yeah. It was from but the boundary. Then, yeah. 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 But then after that, still went back again. Same routine. There is, a, there is a confidence around him at the moment and what he's doing that, like you said, if he misses, he just knows next one he'll nail. Yeah. And like everything around, else that he's doing around the ground, we've spoken about. He's uh, always uh, done that. Correct. He that has that, always that hasn't that. dropped. Yeah. 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 Uh, obviously, he's, he's in the ruck, but it's his, his set shot now. I'd like, to, I'd like to see the amount. So I mean, with a nine iron. Oh. <laughs> Maybe me. All right. Maybe me. <laughs> I'd like hey, to. He was in his five iron like yesterday, but I'll tell you after. <laughs> it's the most pure golf shot I've ever hit in my life, coach. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to see his um, scoring shots total. Yeah. For three games, an average compared to last season in terms of how many shots he's actually had. Yeah, in comparison, it's probably around the same to be fair. Correct. Yeah. So, you know, he's just nailing his set He's shots. just nailing. Yeah, that, the only difference is he's nailing his set shot boys. Yeah. yeah. Which, coming into the season, knowing what he did in the off season and how much he spoke about the work that he was doing in the off season to overcome that, I'm not surprised. I still don't think he's getting recognized enough by the broader AFL community. No, he's not, but they won't. I think they're no, waiting. But they, no, no, but, but they I won't. Think they're they... waiting for him to. Fail. Correct. But they won't. Yeah, yeah they yeah, want him yeah, to fail. Yeah. They want him to fail. So they can say, I told you so. That's it's right. Like, yeah. oh, it's a, he had a little, little. That's peak. right. Yeah. And, to be, and that's why, is, how's this? That's why you don't watch mainstream media. This is why you come here. And he probably, he probably, he probably will go through a little bit of a rough patch. Okay. Well, naturally. Naturally. Of course. Okay. But teams will look to play two on him. <laughs> but they're happy. Seriously, they're going to they're gonna look to play two yeah, on him. And guess what happens when you play two on him? Charlie keeps Charlie Kidd eight. And then, so good luck. We're drinking out of the cup. Good luck. Good luck. Honestly. Opposition defenders, are, they've got the hardest job in the world coming up against us this year. They Especially do. when you've got Jack Martin going. Man. Yeah. You've still, we've still got layers to add to this side. Yeah. Motlock. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. scary, man. Good luck. I'm telling you, this is, this, if this isn't it, I don't know what is. Because I haven't felt like this about our football club ever. My only concern. Ever. I'm just so optimistic. There's no, I, I don't see anything wrong. The only Top concern. Top to bottom. Off field, on field, culture, Joe, it's all there. The only concern I have, and I will stick by this, is our depth down back as a key back, like key back. Yeah, of course. If Wieders because for Wheat without yeah. Wieders is probably the most important player in our side, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. he is. Not, the, uh, not like, think he is. No, no, no he is, 100% yeah. he is. And yeah. it's evident with him being gone those last two games. It's all our key position players, though. It's Wiedering, it's Harry, it's Charlie. If one of them go down, it throws everything into you the can, You can say that amongst. Like a lot of different teams. Yeah, so of course. Pretty much every single team you can yeah, say if they're missing two of them, two of their players. Like you look at Ma like Melbourne without May when they had that that little, that, little that rough patch a couple of years ago. He was missing two, three games. They lost all of them. Mm. So, all right, Elijah, take it away, Jules. Well, I hate to say I told you so. So hold on. Can I say yes so, or no? I, hold on, so because during the yeah, game, during the during the game, did I not Joe it. say, "Oh no, nah, he's had a like"? A, hold on, up until did you not no, 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 no. Up, it, literally, Jules, literally, up as, as, when did I'll, I say? I'll when say did this. I say? I'll say. It. Thank you. I'll be the adjudicator. Yeah, because I'm going to lose it. When Joe <laughs> made the comment, he was on about maybe nine to eleven touches. It was before three quarter time. Yeah. I said that, and then for and then. But Jules, and then he exploded. He just went nuts. He exploded. No, honestly, he no, it, Jules, was. it was. It was. It was nine his last to eleven quarter touches. Was his biggest quarter at like three quarter time. I'm looking at when he got his stats. Yeah, go. Yeah, his last it's quarter. I'm going to tell you when he got his touches. Blow, his last. He can. His last quarter was his biggest quarter, Jules. It was genuinely was. And before that, he was fumbly. He was. You can't say he wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. And listen, as it when you made the comment, it took him some time to get into it. Once he got into it, fuck. Yeah, he was fine. He was unreal. You could argue a little bit of junk time, but that's fine. Like if he continues with that form that as he finished and he starts the next game that way, no problem with Elijah. I just don't think this this conversation. When, about he, him when needs did you to say an argument? When did you say before it? three quarter time? It would have been what he halfway got, through the third quarter. It was halfway through the third quarter. He was on like eleven. He got eight touches in the third quarter. Yeah. All right. So halfway through the qu third quarter, what was he on before that, Jules? What was he on at half time? What did he get? What Six. did he get? Yeah, there you exactly go. Exactly right. All right. Yeah. So he yes. had like eight touches. I remember he had eight to something touches when Joe made the comment and then he just exploded oh, and Jules was just giving it to him. But in your defense, he was clean. He, he kicked the goal. He did. He created that link between midfield forward connection that we're looking for. He stays in the side. He's got to do a week in, week out. He stays in the side. It's a sample of one game. Do you know how many tackles he had? 
Yeah, he had a few. He did have a few tackles. Uh, hey, he had five tackles. This is what we're talking about. That's fine. If he keeps bringing that off the half forward, no in problem. In the fourth quarter. <laughs> how many times did he have in the fourth quarter? Do you know quarter? how many scoring involvements? How many involvement? tackles do you know, how do, you know, times do you have in the fourth quarter? I know get those stats too. Go on. Do you know how many <laughs> score involvements he had? Uh, was it Eight. six? Eight. Bang. How many checked. in the fourth, Jules? I'll check now. No, I want, I want all his fourth because his fourth quarter right. was massive. Fourth and halfway through third. Yeah, so his fourth look. quarter was massive. I know that. But regardless, regardless, He's it safe. was always going to take anyway. time to come into the game. It did. And once he found his his footing and once he found his groove, that's that's that missing. It could be that missing link. Yeah, he had polish. Come on, Jules. How many score involvements in what? The fourth? Well, just what are his fourth quarter stats? Just give it. Yeah, I'm looking for score involvement. All right, this is bad. Um, this is bad YouTube. Yeah, yeah, move on. Davey said, I love you, Joe, but you never give Jules his flowers. That's because Jules sits on the fence. <laughs> <laughs> no, he changes. He, he changes the he opinion. He covers all bases. How did I change it? Not now, but if, oh, if I Elijah, if I'm, what? I'm not saying now, How? I'm saying later, if Elijah has shit, then you'll be like, I knew I want him out. We're taking the piss. Relax. 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 <laughs> Call off a bit. I tell the truth, even when I lie. EG, how, how, how was it? But how was it when when Elijah wasn't having the best game? Yeah, I turn to Jules and I go, "Oh, yeah, but Jules wanted him all season." He goes, "I never said that." And then by the end of the game, he goes, "Told you so." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that did happen, did it not? True? Did that happen? It did. One hundred percent, that happened. Yeah. All right, let's. Uh, I we... had big raps on him preseason. You did, but you Massive. changed it up. I did. It's because you looked at him on eight touches. <laughs> Uh, have you got any more to say about the game before we go into votes? No, I'm just – I want to give Hewitt a, another match. Oh, yeah, go for it, yeah. Because I think Georgia Hewitt kicked the goal. I think he's a big reason that we got going in the in the middle as well, um, well apart from Cripper. I think Chez as well, vote. to be honest with you. Yeah. But Chez has 17 touches. Yeah, but I think had when I, liked, goal, but... I actually like the quality of Chez's touches. Yeah. yeah. Go back and watch – Go back of, and watch it. Some of the ball use – I've seen there it. was a kick oh, yeah. inside Tell 50 him. that was Dark. a bullet. That yeah. Was a bullet. For, yeah, he hit Harry. For me, Chera and Hewitt, they were good early on when there was we still a going. little bit heat on the game. Correct. But do you not feel like Hewitt's that guy that gets us going? I feel like that. When he was at his best, even what, two years ago? He was the guy that would get it going. Yeah. Yeah, when he first Seriously, came in. When he first, when came, he first in, came in and then he in, had yeah. that patch where he was out I think, yeah. with his injury. But he got us going. He's sort of always there to to get us out of Correct. trouble. Yeah. In and under. So he sort of found that a little bit. Yeah. Oh, and well, he needs continuity. He had he had a, a terrible season with injury and whatnot last year. Mm. So you get mm. continuity. No, it's good. And we didn't have Hewitt in the votes. We actually all had the same votes. So um Yeah, I think it was pretty pretty easy, to be honest. The only one we haven't really spoken about is Cripper in this. No, so we you all annoy had, me a little bit as well. We had Charlie for one. No, you annoy Cripper me a little bit as well. Harry for three, huh? Because if we're talking about then the Kangaroos game and you're talking about Ollie Hollins' disposal being poor. I didn't say it was poor in the, in the Kangaroos game. No, but you're saying it's poor in general. So it do is. you drop Ollie Hollins then next week? Because your argument was your argument was that he's poor in disposal, but he went at 85%. Yeah, that's fine. But it was against... It was against, yeah. it was, it I, was against You can't I, say I, that, bloke. I, I, I feel like Joe has like a... Now, you know what it is? A thing I don't have a thing against Listen him. Listen to support him. I don't. I don't. We I don't, don't get supported by listeners. They do. They actually support you more than me. I cop it in the comments every yeah? week. Yeah, I really do. Oh, that's good. Thanks. Right. <laughs> I don't have a thing against Ollie. I just see I just see that he's a young kid that has a couple of flaws in his game, and one of them is ball use. You can't say it's not. But, but like Elijah, you can't drop him off the Kangaroos game. Can you drop Ollie? <laughs> Are we going into? Oh no, we're not going into now. yet, are we? No, we're not. Let's, Would you drop him off the game against the Kangaroos? If Walsh, Martin, and Motlop are coming in, yes, because he still he still has to be one of those three that make way at this point. I think there are plenty of other players ahead of him for the season. That's it. You've got to, You've got to be critical here if we if we're going to win a flag. Name, Jules, what do you think? I could name. Are we going into ins and outs or not? No, <laughs> we're doing votes. <laughs> We've worn him down today. I yeah, love you it. genuinely have. Like this has been. This has you been know what you need. I'm gonna sleep well. You tonight. need a big nap. I'm yeah, sleep well you're going home and you're just. I actually nap today and I still feel really tired <laughs> after. And we're, I'm, yeah. we're not even. How done long was here. how long was your nap? Wait, when you hear my how dad, l- not happy dad. How long was your votes? Nap? How long was your nap? Votes. We're the same. Charlie the same. one, Cripper two, Harry three. Correct. Talk about Charlie. Talk how about Cripps. How long was your nap? You talk about Charlie. You talk about Cripps. Go. How long was your nap? Go. Otherwise, I'm moving on. Charlie, yes. I mean Charlie does what Charlie does, yeah. Like he just pops up, kicks four, whatever. Doesn't really matter. True or not? 
He does. He does. <laughs> like, honestly. Yeah, he does. Um, And then, I mean, Cripps, what do he have? He had like, oh, like 28 goal, no. nine contested possessions. Um, I don't think or no, no, he had nine, nine score involvements. Yeah, yeah. He had 15 contested sorry, possessions. Yeah, nine clearances. He had he had nine clearances, yeah. six center clearances. Yeah. Five tackles, five inside fifties. Yeah. If, if you're talking about a brown low, so is he not? I'm sorry, but is he not is, like, there, is he not uh, off base off the base of the last we three obviously games? hold Cripps to a very high standard because he's that sort of a player, but he's in career best form to start this season. Go look at his numbers. It's, I mean, it's, I don't know if he's. He just hasn't been than, kicking goals. I, I know those first three games yeah, to start the, the Brownlow yeah, year was yeah. ridiculous. But if he added goals, it's the same form. Same form. Line. Yeah, correct. He had 21 yeah. contested not, possessions against Richmond. Then it's not the same form. All right. No, but you're, yeah, still, you're still talking about him. Yeah, you're still no, talking no, about no, him. Right. There's, yeah. there's, there's still conversations with There's, votes, there's votes, right. leaderboard. We've got Fogarty. He's been through the show. Five, one vote. Tom Conning, four votes. Charlie Curno, seven votes. You reckon it's gone quicker? We've already got an hour. We've got a full preview to do. We're going to be here for an hour already. Uh, Cripper, second on 18 votes. And Harry out in the lead early on in our MVP with 23 votes. Livy. Yeah. Thank God, because I'd rather listen to Livy right now. Hey, everyone. It's Livy with Livy's last words. And this is what I thought about the game. Well, let's just start off. That was a good Friday. A very, very good Friday. But I do have to say, the umpires were probably on our side. I mean, we only got six goals from them, but that's okay. Like, that's fine. I mean, I think they were pretty fair calls, to be honest. Um, I think the North Melbourne supporters were just a bit of a sore losers, but that's okay. We played amazing. Like, Mackay... Five goals. That's mind blowing for Mackay. I would would never believe that Mackay would kick five goals. Absolutely amazing. Charlie Kerner kicking four goals. Even more amazing. The two Coleman medalists. It's literally going to be a draw. Like the Coleman medal. Like what? It's going to be so good. But anyways, it was so good to see Elijah Hollands playing and getting his first goal. The Dutch brothers very amazing i'm very excited to see them play it'll be just absolutely incredible but anyways all overall our play playing was just amazing pressure on the ball was amazing our defense yeah it was okay but yet again our forward pressure was so good every north melbourne could not kick the ball without us disposing it or intercepting it or marking it off them like they could not do it like we were just so good like Cripper had an incredible game Hewitt had an incredible game you know De Koning was absolutely amazing he dominated the ruck he dominated he literally dominated like North Melbourne ruck could not even compare to freaking De Koning. but um, I really want to see Jesse Motler play, so I hope he gets better so I can see Jesse Motler play. But special shout-out to o- always this game. He always is just absolutely amazing. Brings so much hype to the game, and I just want a special shout-out to always. It was a bit sad seeing Zach-, Zach Fisher not playing for us, but it's okay. I hope he's enjoying his time at North Melbourne. It was good to see Cripper and him swapping the jersey. That was a very... Now, I'm just saying that Colton are going to win the grand final this year. Or even get into the grand final. But, like, they're definitely premiership favourites. I'm just saying. Like, I feel like it's going to be GW West versus Colton. Like, we're just so good. But, anyways, this is what I thought about the game. The Good Friday game. Anyways, go the Blues! Yeah, another good one from Livy. Good, uh, she's actually getting a lot of love in the comments. Uh, Livy, how old's Livy? Jimmy uh, uh, asks. Thirteen. Thirteen. To, to paint a picture for you all, just while Livy was doing her bit, somehow uh, Petresky Seaton got dropped. <laughs> yeah, well, in, in this discussion, <laughs> in our discussion, because we're talking about Zach Fisher. Yeah, and we saw Zach Fisher for what he was on the weekend against us. Correct. Yeah, you can have as many junk possessions as you want. I was never a fan, and good luck to him at North. But I'm glad that we don't have to deal with that anymore. He doesn't fit this 
It's but, nothing against Zach. I'm well, sure it's just great evolution person, of our list, is it not? It's just not it, evolution it, of it Carl. doesn't. It just didn't. His game didn't quite fit with what we're trying to do. That's all. So, hopefully, he flourishes at North off the halfback. Um, now, before we get into the preview, if you're watching, I'm gonna put the call out right now. We've got about all Blues fans. We've got I, we, all non-Blues fans. Doesn't matter. Whoever. Family, friends. If you're watching right dogs, now live, cats. if you're watching right now live, if you're listening on Spotify or Apple during the week, whatever it is, we don't do this often where we try and spruik this Never. and pump this up. I don't think I've ever done this. No, we try to go word of mouth like organic. Right. But we are about 50 followers away from 5,000 on Instagram. For us. Okay, which is big. I never, th- I didn't think we'd get 50, to be honest. No. If we're you like get us 5, there, 000. Joe will get you a... <laughs> A um a slab, slab uh, for only <laughs> yeah. or the newest Kona. Oh, yeah, get him a car. No, so you <laughs> love me today. This is all. Human. This is all I'm going to say because we haven't. We've never done this. We've ne- no, never. We have got fifty to go. Has if to you're watching right now, if you're listening and you haven't followed us on Instagram, please, <laughs> please get us there. I'm trying so hard, help but please. Us. Help us. Go follow us at Almost Blues Brothers on Instagram. If we get to 5K before the end of the night, I might take my pants off. You know what? I will. I'll do the I'll do the last five minutes in my jocks. I'll check it. If you get no to 5K to by the end of the night, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll um see what it does. Yeah, keep boys. track. Yeah, I'll keep, keep track, it on there. I'll keep All track. right. Now we've got a preview to do. Oh, this will be funny. Would you actually do I will it? do I will take my pants off. Jocks on, but I'll take my pants off. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh all right. So we got to pre- we got to preview this game. Yes. Gather round. Gather round. I'm going. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. I'm. Sp- well, we've yeah, got a thirtieth. Yeah, you got yeah, a birthday. Yeah, we can't. can't. We can't. Right. But so. I'm going with my dad and oh, his dad. Go on. Do we actually? With- it's it's cool. I mean, come I'm on. going with Gia. I'm going with my dad and your yeah, dad. You are. Yeah. Is anyone else going? Fly in Saturday morning, six thirty. Fly out eight fifty. I'll be honest. I'm genuinely spewing yeah, that I can't make yeah, it. It's gonna be an unbelievable day. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Yeah. Um. Okay. Especially after we get the chocolate. Jimmy, R, Jimmy R was the uh, the follower on the Instagram. We just said we got one. Good man. Thank you very much, man. Instagram, go follow us. Um, okay, Frio. We just spoke about this briefly while Lydia yeah. was um, going through her thing. How do you see them at the moment? Um, I mean, I just brought it up, and they're almost like a one-to-one ratio in terms of kick and handball. So, um, and obviously you see that in terms of the amount of possessions they get, but you also see it in terms of their ball movement. They don't really do much with it. And, I think if we can get our hands on the ball, I think we can actually put some, I mean, a decent amount of score on the, what on the scoreboard. What were the stats that you were reeling off from the Adelaide game around disposals and... Oh, look, I have to get it up. Scoring opportunity. I think they had from... from like in terms them, of like their efficiency inside 50, because they get a lot of the football, but they don't do a lot with it. Is what yeah, I mean, they have what... I think it was one of the games, can't remember if it was against Adelaide, but it was definitely one of the games. They had like 150-something... 150, 160 handballs and 205 kicks or something like it's that. Almost so one to one. It's almost one to one. Their pressure rating is high though. Like against, I don't. You yeah, watch the Adelaide course, game, but like, of course the pressure rating is going to be higher when you're handballing the ball that much because it's not going anywhere. Yeah, of True. course. Yeah, keeps him tight. Yeah, he's right. Good analysis. I watched the Frio Adelaide game and I was, uh, I couldn't understand it to be honest because. They As dominated them. Yeah, yeah, they dominated them, but they, they didn't really put them away until late. And it was so low scoring that I was just going, I I, I don't really understand how this game is at It was point. a poor game to watch. It, it wasn't was actually great. a really poor game to watch. Now, Frio, they keep they have kept teams to low scores so far this year. They're undefeated. So you've got to give them you got to give them their dues, right? They're three and zero, just like we are. And they keep teams to low scores. I just don't think they've come up against a team that can move the ball like we do so far. Yeah, they're at fifty three percent. They came up against Brisbane. They come up against Brisbane. But, but, hold on, Brisbane are zero and three. No, I know, I know like, that. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, all right, we beat him up at the Gabba, sure, and it, it was it was great at the time. But you, if you Listen, look at it retrospectively, they've started on three. I look at it, and I look at I look at their midfield once again, um, and I look at Luke Jackson's having a year up so far. So I think TDK is going to have a big task mm-hmm. personally, mm-hmm. and I think our midfield once again is going to have to just cut them at where they're good at. And then we, I think we'll be fine. Their efficiency inside 50 across three games, 50, 53, and 60. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw that. I actually saw that. So they have yeah. a lot of shots on goal. No. Maybe. Well, they do. Well, per inside 50, yeah. yeah. Per inside 50, they yeah. have a lot of shots on goal, but they're obviously just not hitting the scoreboard. So yeah. whether that be shit, set, shit, set shot efficiency or just... Like, are you threatened by the... We should have a jar when whenever we actually say a word that's 
you know, oh, you'll, fill we that can't you'll fill that up in a week, Jules. Listen, I'll tell I you something. I'll break it down like this. Does, does their midfield stack up better than ours? I think at the moment, yeah. With the likes of Sarong, Brayshaw, Fife going back through there. Like, Can we get on top of them, though? Luke, yes. Jackson, Luke Jackson's a, probably the most informed ruck in the comp. Yes, but we're not scoring goals just for through our stoppage work. That's now. my point. Is right. I'm not concerned True. if we don't get our hands on it at the source because we've got a second layer now. Correct. And I back our system in to punish them off turnover. Now the I other really thing, do. the other thing I say is, yeah. does their forward line scare you? With nice. a giant Amos, this is what I'm trying to say to you. No, I don't. Yeah. Think, I don't think that's so. Do we stack up well with their forward line? Yeah, correct. I think we for do me, it. I think. Yeah. But that's how, that's how I look I at think it. This that's is, how I look at it. I know it, it's I, fair. I think this is a game where we sort of need to get our stoppage game going. Reason being, because if they get their hands on the footy, the ball's probably not going to bounce around anywhere for us to be able to get the ball, for them to get the ball outside. So then we can actually punish off turnover, if that makes sense. Obviously, obviously. I'm, I said, so, I was saying to you before, yeah. beat them at, beat them at that, we have at to. their game. We have to. Which is I'm not, stoppage work at the we moment, have to. anyway. I'm not saying, I, I don't think we will, just because of our profile at the moment. We haven't, we haven't, like, how we're scoring. Our, I, I, our, our I source, don't underestimate us. No, we could turn it on. Because I, agree. I think Voss will play a lot, put a lot more emphasis in there. We could absolutely turn it on and bring back that stoppage game, no doubt in my mind. I just think our profile at the moment, it just wouldn't surprise me if we lost the clearances game. Marchy out, big loss. No, nah, Kemp comes in. I think Kemp was all right. Jules? Kemp next to Weeders, I've got no issue with. We're climbing, boys. Are we? <laughs> Marchy out. Yeah, we are. Timing. Yeah, Marchy out. Um, obviously, it's a big loss. I mean, he was a bit nervous, obviously, early on, and I think he'll get better with, obviously, continuity. Um, but I think Kemp can cover and cover well. Um, yeah, so I'm not – I'm just I'm obviously more happy that it's – oh, no, I'm not going to say that. It's a bad comment. Go. No, go. No, obviously, you prefer – I want Weedering to stay in the side. Like, I think he's obviously yeah, the sure. more yeah, of you know, one yeah. to miss. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I feel bad for Marchbank, but obviously if it was one or the two, yeah, you, yeah, you know, course. you want Weedering to be available. But so, you want them you know to what? start to develop Correct. more continuity. Real, Correct. The thing. Real Talks has said, yeah, it's not a bad game to lose Marchy free. I don't have that many elite tools, which is true. Yeah. So we don't really need to be as tall. I think Kemp coming in is probably at the right time. And Adam here has actually asked uh, a decent question. If it's a possession game, and stoppage is is what you're talking about that you want to see. You know where I'm going with to this. get on top of it. You know where I'm going with this or not? Ask the question, then I'll know. Okay, it just looked like Why it, it looked to, like you can't you read not, no. You nodded as if you knew where I was going to go. If it's a stoppage game that we want to get going, does Pito come in? Mm. Oh, by all reports, he had a very good game in the VFL. He did have a good game. Um, oh shit, he'll, he'll dominate the VFL yeah, every week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, um. Sandra Sally with the with the late news there. Hey, this show's gone to different. You said angsty. It's been flying around different it directions does. today. But like, would you would you would you, you, would you, would you had, bring Pito no, in? No, no. I'm gonna say no. I don't see it happening. I'm gonna say no. I don't see it happening. I think Pito had 25 touches in the VFL. <laughs> yeah, but he's gonna dominate, of course. But the point is, if for me, I look at okay, watch change it around the ball that isn't allowing us to play the same stoppage game. We've got one ruck. We didn't do that last year. Mm. We had two rucks all year and we've lost Walsh. That's it. I look at Pitto as a big, probably the biggest factor in that to go. There's no big body in there. That's just a, a, a pure tap, tap ruckman. Teddy K's not doing it at the moment. Around the ground, he's been brilliant. Like yeah. no problem with how he's, how he's going around the ground. Yeah. But I think he's Teddy K and Harry, like that, that cohesion is not there to win, I mean, to could, actually I, win stoppage. I could be wrong, but um, I did see that um, it actually went over the scoreboard in terms of hit outs and hit outs to advantage or hit outs just in general. Um, and he was, he halved it. It was even. He was even. even Teddy K. With, um, yeah. yeah. With um, Sherry. With Sherry, yeah. yeah but Pito yeah. would win that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. And this is, and for me, this is what I'm saying. If you want first possession at a stoppage, I look at that and I go, if if that's the way we want to go, I think value. I think Pito should come in. But mm. I think I don't. I'm I'm not valuing that. I think we keep rolling with what we've got. I think that's yeah. and I think the transition game is going to. I think be you that. still. I think you I can do. still win your center clearance work and your stoppage work with TDK in there without Pito. You can this week. Yes. Okay. I, I yeah. don't think there's been enough. I think you can. Jackson. I think My, you can. I, I, think I just think. I just think overall, in terms of season, TDK is proving himself week to week. I think he'll build. To be he's honest. proving himself I, week I'm to week. I'm not disagreeing with that. Yep. I'm saying this week, I don't think he. I don't think 
the way that this midfield unit is now made up with the one ruck and Harry, I don't think they've played enough together yeah. to be able to get I, on top I, of three. I, I just think we needed to put emphasis on our turnover game because I think history has shown us that you can't win the whole thing. No, that's it. You don't have a turnover yeah, game, correct. and your turnover game isn't your main source yeah. of, in terms of scoring. We shut, that was last year. We were, it was evident. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, no. I, don't, I don't think you're going to shift that for one game. Okay, so no. so then what are the ins and outs then? So Marchbank out for Kemp. Kemp comes in. Yep. I think that's probably it. And then if – well, Mar- it doesn't sound like Martin or Motlop are actually going to be – Martin's going to need another week, I think. No, I think they might have a couple of weeks. Still. Even Martin? Yeah. I thought Martin was not this week, week after. No, he aggravated a calf. Or no. No, he did. Hamstring. 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 Yeah. I think that's a couple of weeks. So – no, well, hold on. I, I knew it was a soft tissue. No, so, not you. I'm saying in general with oh. the injury. Yeah. Joe thinks every time we have oh. a conversation, we're well, targeting tonight, him. especially because you have targeted me all night. To be fair, <laughs> sensitivity. Fuck me. All right, so Jesus. it's just March Bank out for camping. That's what we're saying. I think, I think so. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, what I can't else, really. What think else is going to happen? What else would you do? Go on. <laughs> no, nah, I was going to piss Jules off. Elijah out. <laughs> <laughs> Jules. <laughs> no, I think I think you're going unchanged. Unless no, there's an injury yeah. that pops up during the week. Like that's yeah. yeah. Uh all right, predictions. Carlton by twenty five. Carlton by thirty. I say Carlton by forty. I genuinely, I've got this feeling mm. that we are gonna fucking steamroll them for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. I've I feel like four plus goals. What you spoke about Five before more. with the blocks, yeah. I feel like this is the first game that they've that they're targeting to go, we need to be full steam ahead from this point forward. I think we're just gonna blitz them. I, think, I generally think like it all comes together. Yeah. It could be a very, very special night in Adelaide. Yeah. I still think we're building, to be honest with you. Of course we are. Yeah. But I, I think this is, I think we this next year's game. Through through I think, yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, no we won't hit our way through the year. We'll hit us. We won't yeah. hit our peak until even later in the year. But I think this will be the first that we see in this block of games that are now coming up. We've got harder opposition where they know they've got to be on their game. And we're just going to see a, like another little layer added on top. I'm telling you, but is that, on do you reckon that's tactically, or do you reckon that's more just emphasis on like values in terms no, no. of application? No, that's, application, but in yeah. terms of like getting through the season yeah. in those blocks that we're talking about. This yeah. is the start of that next six weeks. That's a test. This next six weeks is a test. This is where we faltered last year. We're three and oh, essentially. How, how many games year, do you reckon we, we win? Three well, not win, but how, not reckon you'd, we'd win. But how many do you think you'd be content with winning out of the next six games, boys? How many I'd be content with winning? Yeah, out of the next six. Do, do you not say all of them? No. I mean, no, no, no. I'm really Ob- Obviously, I'm just... Yeah, four of yeah. the next six. Yeah. Cool. Four out of the next six for me. Yeah. All right, yeah. So we've got Frio... Ad- I'll tell you. Frio in Adelaide. Win. Adelaide here. Win. GWS Win. here. Win. Win. For me, that's... That could be the one. Right. Geelong at the MCG. Win. 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 Stand okay. enough against them as well. Collingwood at the MCG. One. Is Geelong at the G? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, win. Collingwood at the G. Melbourne at the G. Yeah, and out of the Collingwood Melbourne, flip a coin. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So, so GWS four, is four, the iffy. Four and, four four and, four and, four and two. Four and six. Four and two. Yeah. Yeah, four and two. Yeah, I'd say four and two. I'd be content with. But I think we've got the capacity to win them all, to be fair. I think we have more. <laughs> I think we have more than the capacity to win them all. So from what I've seen. From what I've seen. Are we done? <laughs> What's the minute? What's a... Keep calm. Count to ten. One, two, three... Nine, ten. Not happy, Jen. Yeah, that. I've been looking forward to this. What? They're not happy. I don't yeah. know what it is. You know it? No. Oh, you like? Yeah, you like this segment? <laughs> yeah, of course. How good? <laughs> so I don't know what no, like, you've come good. up with now. I don't come up with them. That happens. <laughs> I don't understand how this shit happens in my life, but it does. I'm actually not even an angry person. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon I, I am? Lauren, if you're in the comments, this is your time. <laughs> you reckon I'm angry? Hey, Lauren, if you're watching Jules? live, this is the time Jules. to get in the live chat. Get in the live chat. Go you reckon there. I'm an angry oh, person? Wow. I'm going to wait to see Lauren Chicha pop up in this live chat. Go. It's not Lauren Pioverson. <laughs> she, she hasn't changed on YouTube. Huh? It still comes up as Lauren Chicha. I'll have a word for her. <laughs> That's your not, not happy down next yep. week. Well, I had conversations oh, that God. if it's not changed before the kid, there'll be words. <laughs> Hurry up. Let's go. Anyway, so I think I'm not an angry person. But when this shit happens, I have to be. So don't read it. Stay in your lane. He's got notes for his not happy Yeah, because I forget him. All right. You like hot cross buns? 
Yeah. Do you like them? Yeah. Do you like hot cross buns? Especially the chocolate. Yeah. Especially the chocolate ones, yeah. Beautiful. Leads into it perfectly because so do I. I don't like normal hot cross buns. I like the chocolate ones. And you like to put them in the, in the oven. In the oven a bit. And I put Nutella oh. on them. Oh, even better. Do you like that? Yeah. Yeah. So Friday, what? <laughs> Anyway, Friday. See how much fluff has been in this episode? Just bullshit. <laughs> go. Go do it with someone else. Then, We're just giving what the people want. Yeah, go. I like fluff. it. I actually do like it too, man. Go. No, you. He's not even talking to the mic anymore. He's done. I feel the lost it. <laughs> anyway, listen. So, I'm giving you your time. All right, Friday morning's meant to be for hot cross buns. Yes, is it not like a tradition? You get that on Good Friday. Is that right? Yeah. For me, it's like every day. All right, you're different. Um. I was buzzing for the chocolate ones. We normally go Baker's Delight. They have, don't even worry about it. It just keeps going. My wife decides to go to a different place because it, I don't even know the name. They've deleted it from my brain. I can't even say I don't want to say it. You know the name. Where did she go? Well, listen. <laughs> no, it was an shame. Instagram what... place. Yeah, what was, what was the name? All good in pictures. Is that? What go, was the name? Don't know. Anyway. You know so, why he doesn't name him? He told me this once. And this is true. No, it's not. This is true. What? Because he got arrested. No. He goes, arrested. He goes, I don't want to name him just in case they want to become a sponsor. <laughs> like we're that big. <laughs> no, we barely have a sponsor now. Yeah. Yeah. No, anyway, so we go there. The place opens at 8 o'clock. Yeah. All right? Okay. Do you think if you're, you're advertising hot cross buns, you got them going all day? Yes or no? Yeah. I get there at 8.30. Lauren and I line up. No more chocolate hot cross buns left. Yeah, okay. At half an hour after it's opened. Bloke, are you joking? Well, you don't see that bad? Mm, it's good Friday, to be fair. Do you know what? So we line up there? No, Jules, come on. Baker's Delight's got... What, you don't like it? I think what what so other you were, so if you lined up there, we didn't line up for half question. an hour. I got half question. an hour late. What other is, options? It, is it a, is it a hot cross bun place though? Yes. What are they specialize <laughs> in it? Specialize. They <laughs> went on. No there. way. Yeah. Oh, that's it. They closed from from like a well, month. You know what? No, they had they you know had what? the chocolate ones. They ran out. Then they had these fair? vegan ones, and they and they had <laughs> the other hot cross bun ones. Yeah. Okay. And uh, they ran out. What time do they so, close? If that was you, you wouldn't be angry. What time do they close? Look, one o'clock. They had a line going. They had a line going. Yeah. And I, and they'd said, no more hot, chocolate hot cross buns. She goes, do you want a chocolate croissant instead? And did you, what did you, oh, well, you don't want that. What do you think of yeah, that? you want a hot cross bun. Correct. <laughs> Have I not got a right to be angry at that, Jules? Adam has said. That bloke, Adam has half said, an hour. Adam has said, shop earlier. I, think, I agree. <laughs> When you're no, because you know what, Adam, I would have got there at eight o'clock. I would have had to wait in line for half an hour, and I still would have missed out. No, you got to got there at eight. No, mm. no people lining up. Is there a reason why he couldn't get there at eight? Exactly. So get there earlier. Is there a reason why he couldn't get there at eight? Yeah, the seven thirty. Mm. Well, no, it wasn't. So, no, this is wrong. You're turning it on me. It's wrong. Oh. I, I. I have a right to be angry at the fact that a place advertising that they specialize the in hot cross buns. Place? Yeah, and hold on. Excuse me. Coburg. Excuse me. They had hot cross buns when you got there. Did they yeah, not? I know. But have them going on through the whole day. They had They had some left. When do they... No can I ask you a question? Bakers. Wait, bakery places. Bakers Delight, yeah. When do they When do they usually make all their stuff? He goes, don't know. But <laughs> yes, you do it. know. He goes, wait till this happens to you. He just threatened me. Yes, what you do, do you mean? Know. Yeah, in the morning. <laughs> in the morning or overnight. Yeah, but but you know what they did? They, they don't know. continue it. No, they but just Baker's have the supply Delight. And that's it. Done. Mate, no, wrong. Because Baker's it's Delight. wrong. That's, that's well, what happens. Baker's Delight didn't have any. And they go, wait five minutes, sir. We're going to have more coming yeah, through. All right, but you go on to a And do they get more? Instagram joint. They don't give a fuck. You should make more. <laughs> they don't care. You should make you know what more. They did? You know what they did? They sucked you in. They got you in on Instagram. Yeah, what did you your missus, Correct. And she went, oh, this looks amazing. Let's go there on Good Friday. And you got there. And all they gave a fuck about was that you were there. And they got your money. Hey, yeah. And then guess what? <laughs> I went to Baker's Delight. Hey, and got business there. Hey, Zahn. What's the moral of the story? Did you yeah, hold on? Wait, 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 few, wait, few, wait, yeah, wait, wait. Did you still? Yes or no? Did you still buy something from that store? No. Lauren did. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, did so you, she bought it for you. She bought herself the other. Yeah, right. So you still spent money at the store. 
I didn't. They could have made more money. Moral of the story is be prepared to have more stock. You make more money. Simple. Okay. Yeah. Do, do that fair? He's going to open up. Because you know what? Because you know what, Joe? Because the people waiting in line of that joint would have left because they want chocolate hot cross buns. You know where they would have gone? Baker's Delight. And guess where? And then guess what Lauren said? Next year, guess where we're going? Another Instagram place. Yeah. No. Nah. Baker's Delight, the one that we went to. But again. No, nah, no. Nah. Baker's Delight. <laughs> I've got a not happy, Dan, but I've got to ask you if you want to do this on air. Which one? You know what I'm talking about. What, my coxie? No. Oh. <laughs> coxie? No, I'm not going to talk about that. Is my cox- No. What? No, no, no. No, no. Do we leave that for, 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 for 360 that feedback? For five, when we get 5,000 followers. No, no, we'll leave that for 360 feedback. 360 feedback. All right, we'll All right, do, done. We'll do that then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've got one, and it's a good We've one. We've got a belter. It's a belter, and... It, well, you're gonna you're gonna be angry at us, but then you'll laugh. You'll be angry, but I'm we're actually really angry. If I'm being honest, <laughs> what have I, what have I nah, done? No, nah, we're actually fucking ripeable. Nah, don't do it now. No, nah, no, nah, we're ripeable though. Are we not? What have I done? Yeah. Yes or no? <laughs> yeah. For three seconds, what have I done? Feedback, no problem. <laughs> we can't die out. Nah, we can't die out. What's it about? What's the general topic? Yeah, no, nah, that's right. No, nah, it's about footy. You'll learn your fate. Footy. Yeah. This is a group one that we've already discussed. A group like yeah. there's more than two of a you. Cha- we'll just say it's a change in behaviour. <laughs> He's Unheard. already off. He's Unheard. off first. He's done. I'm checking. <laughs> He's already done. I'm checking it. Yeah, no. The, the, I'm still involved. The Instagram, oh, the Instagram funny. followers have dropped. That's it. Yeah, you've done nothing for us. No, no pants off today. Yeah. All right, we are done. That was just complete fluff. Apparently, they like the fluff in the show. So yeah. happy to keep doing that. Look where my mic. Look where my, <laughs> where my mic is. <laughs> I feel we like, on cruise control, me and Jules. I feel like I'm in a fever dream tonight. This, this is not fun. Where are we at? Where are we at? <laughs> With what? Time. An hour what 20. about likes? I don't know. Like the video. Listen, I'm done. I'm actually, I'm so out. Like I'm done. I, I've switched off now mentally from this. I can't believe we're still recording. I have another, I have another not happy. No, no, here? wait. Wait, wait. Another not happy, Dan. Can I do one more? <laughs> what are we? All right. Listen, Jules. Yeah, I'll, 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 yeah, yeah, here we go. Keep calm. Count to ten. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten. Not happy, Jen. What are we? Jules, what the fuck are we doing? We didn't doing like the other one. All right. You know what I'm going to do? What you we... can you can finish this off because I know oh that God. how much you two will like this. Not happy, Dan. Ready? The line before the game at the. Oh. Um, there you go. The yeah. line to get in at the at Hold on. Marvel. I don't care about the line. You know what I'm not happy with? The dickheads that lined up. There you go. Sorry. The the way they it was set up, the, they the fanned out. out. And those people that were in that massive line were only going to the outside lane of an eight gate fucking fucking yeah. eight an eight what's the thing called? You guys told the me gate. The, the, there was eight aisles to get I into the gate. The one the one I went through, there's one thing to go through. Where'd you go? And then you pan out. I can't remember what gate. Listen, it, it wasn't, it wasn't, seven. no, it wasn't under, no. But gate under. seven had, had people fanning I went, out. I went All you had to do was go around the line and, and go to the middle. Four, four or five. And it was one line. No, no, no. And yeah. then you fan. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. But these ones, the bigger gates, which one gate seven? At it was Marvel, like seven um, things. There's seven turnstiles, eight turnstiles. There was one line that was only taking that outside lane and one line that was only taking that. And the middle aisles, the other six turnstiles, were empty. Did anyone Did anyone here listening this is ridiculous. see what? the calamity? Yeah, I, oh, I just want to know, did anyone see any of the listeners? Are they like see? this, apparently? I don't know. For Maybe. me, it, it gets worse like every How's year. How's this? Bloke. This yeah, was bad, know. though. This, was going to, this went out to like Spencer Street. No, it was bad. It yeah. was bad. It was, there was a line that long. It was, it was, but no one, Jerry, me. no one, Jerry, to go, hold on, this can't be right. I just walked yeah. around the outside of the line. I went to the middle aisles and there was no one there. Like he messaged me, he goes, just walk in the middle, you'll get in five minutes. So I was like, and then Danny and I walked See, in. See, Jimmy. Jimmy said the same thing. I walked around and went Bang. straight in. Yeah. Dickheads. Yeah. Well, this not is, four, great this is This is Melbourne. Oh, you know, I'm not going to Don't I'm start. Not there. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going there. This is Melbourne at the moment, though. Just rules. Oh, let's follow fucking rules. Like everyone would have gone, oh, I'm, yep. Standing no, the you know what it I'll is? Wait. It's not that. I'll stand a lot. I can't skip. It's called oh, common sense. Yeah, there's no common sense in Melbourne anymore. There's none. Oh, we'll start that for a new podcast. Well, apparently they like this fluff, which I, I half expected to be honest, but we've never done it like this. Not this like is, this. No, this is not another level. level. This is genuine yeah. bullshit. This is a joke. <laughs> if you want a show like this, maybe, maybe there's room for it. Hey, we we're going to be. We're going to be. We could actually like 
we could actually just pick certain things Topics. that are yeah that are happening in Melbourne, and we could just pre-record it and then just eg the educations. <laughs> Let's not go there because that's another hour. Listen, we've got we've got uh, we've got a, we've got three weeks together in Europe. And I will still be doing this podcast every week if you boys stop saying oh, that. Here we I go. hate when you say that. I honestly, like as if we're not as committed. Yeah, because every time we've said it, we've gone. We're doing it, Joe. I'm gonna have my laptop there anyway for work, but he's the one that's gonna be doing. It. You know what? Jules, boycott it. Do it. So if I think about all the episodes, 120 episodes that we've done, all of them, there's literally one fucking constant. Because we're me. me. Yeah, you know why? Not missed we've, an episode. Not one. Because you have, because you cancelled. Pov, yeah, <laughs> Pov right. and I. You cancelled yeah, the episode. Pov and I move the world for you. That's to right. Accommodate. Yeah. Oh, sorry? I agree with Jules massively. <laughs> I'm sorry? Yeah. Oh, okay. Jules, do you, I, I feel that, man. Do you I move the world. Too. So we're doing this on a Sunday night right now, are we? Yeah. Are we? What's the effect to you? It's Monday. Can? I don't know, but it's Easter, boy. Did we not do Monday the other week for you? Oh, okay. Do we not cancel an episode when you're sick? Yeah, but hold on. I t- we exactly. all we all accommodate. Don't say you only accommodate for me. That's rubbish. Majority. Mostly, yeah. Uh, all right. You know what? Now they're throwing topics at us that they want us to talk. I'm like, can I see? <laughs> people driving. Jimmy asks people driving in the right hand lane, ten kilometers under the speed limit. <laughs> That's an hour show right there. It actually is. Gavin Wheeler. All right. There, look, there could be some grounds for another show after all this. I think. I look at not. Gavin Wheeler. What do you say? Melburnians love lines. They do. Yeah, they do. We're done. <laughs> yeah. No, we're done. This is the longest show we've ever done. I kind of want to keep talking, but no, we're done. <laughs> no, All right, let's go. Probably, we'll keep talking. I'm going to be up early tomorrow. Thank you to everyone that joined us live. If you're listening on Spotify, again, hit that five stars. Follow us. I'm out. Go Blues. Come back in. Come-